What's going on everybody? So Harley has some big news. Let's chat about it. So just announced by Harley, our new model's coming up. And it's big news for Harley because these models are going to be dramatically different from their current base, their base of cruiser motorcycles. And I might have a video where I talk about some of the other models, but one, one I want to focus on right now is the Pan America. Now the Pan America is going to be released in 2020 and they're going to release first a 1250cc model and then later, I believe, a 975. And this bike is completely different than anything Harley has ever done. It's going to be an adventure bike. So when I first started riding my Harley RN883, I've talked about this in other videos. The dealership that I bought the bike from did a blog post on me. They took a couple of quotes from me and one of them was they asked me why I bought a Harley, why I'm going to ride a motorcycle. And I kind of gave a long-winded answer. And the quote that they pulled out was, adventure is a big part of who I am and the Harley Iron 883 is an extension of that. I paraphrased there a bit, but that's, that's the quote for the most part. But what they didn't include is the second part of that quote is I talk about the Harley RN 83 how I'm going to learn to ride on it, enjoy the heck out of it, possibly get into a touring model maybe someday because of that adventure component of who I am. And then I also included that I heard rumors and mind you, these are very, very small rumors at the time because this is in fall of 2017 where I talked about this. That Harley may someday do an adventure bike. And at that time, there was only one known model out there. It was just a prototype called the Stealth. And I'll flash a picture up of the Stealth right now. And it's not something that was ever shown in the United States. And at the time, I, it was just other riders and forums, dual sport forums and adventure riding forums that I was taking a look at back then, saying, oh, Harley's probably going to do this someday. Just people guessing at it. And one thing I said in that quote was, within the next five years, there will probably be three Harley Davidson models in my garage because they may do an adventure bike. And some of you know, I'm gonna be doing a, a dirt course this September to get into dirt riding a bit and possibly buy a dual sport bike. The Kawasaki KLR650 is what's, what I'm looking at. But the fact that Harley will probably be doing an adventure bike, oh, that excites me, man. That just, oh, man. To have an adventure bike, something that I want to be riding sometime in my life, and have Harley's take on it, oh, that would just be a dream come true for me, I think. <laughs> Obviously, the what they come out with in 2020 for the Pan America will greatly affect that opinion that I have right now. But right now, it looks pretty promising. So what's the bike gonna look like? It's gonna be very different for Harley. Harley's developing this, this modular engine where they'll be able to fit a lot of different sizes in it. Uh, so the, the Pan America, like I mentioned earlier, will have a 975 and a 1250 versions. But the modular design's gonna be used for a Street Fighter bike uh, and some custom bikes. But what's really different about this bike from other Harleys is it's going to be DOHC, so dual overhead cam. 
So it looks like push rods and air cooling potentially might become a Harley afterthought. That's just, that's me making an assumption there or a bit of a prediction. But the reason why I bring up the Pan America, the adventure bike in my quote from when, and my quote from before I started riding is, I started riding because I love to travel and I love adventure and I love my Harley R883 and I will, I will always have a sporty in my garage. But riding on an adventure bike, traveling around the country and possibly the world on things like the Trans-America Trail, and dirt roads and single track possibly, that excites me. And that really excites me. And to have it on a Harley platform, oh, that would just be exciting. So what else is different about this bike? Well, 45V twin here on my Harley RN883. The new modular engine, 60 degree V twin. Like I said, dual red cam, big transition for Harley. Huge transition from Harley. One thing I was thinking about when I first started riding is what we all were thinking about over the last year or so is Harley's history and heritage is what's led to success and what is leading to its doom, its potential doom. But by branching out into other markets, especially the competitive adventure market, I think is courageous. And honestly, I think what will save Harley. From a marketing standpoint, it's super smart. Why, why would any one company limit itself to one style? You know, I, I'm about to compare coffee to, to motorcycles, which may be dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll ask, I'll ask all of you a question to, to explain this. So, for those of you who are my vintage and older, in the late 80s or early 90s, how many of you had any type of espresso drink, a latte, a mocha, an Americano, or hell, even heard of these styles? Until Starbucks came along, your choice was black coffee with cream and sugar. Once Starbucks exploded and everybody realized how much choice was wonderful in the coffee world, everybody else gleamed on to Starbucks success. And now we have so many choices in our coffee world. I mean, even, even not just with Americanos and lattes and espresso and all that, but also within just the coffee that we buy at the grocery store. I mean, before the 90s, we had Folgers Colombian Bean, Juan Valdez and his Colombian Bean coffees. I mean, now we've got Hawaiian coffee, we've got Ecuadorian coffee. There's a lot of choice out there now because, because coffee manufacturers realized that this is what the consumer wanted. And by broadening our choices, we'll make them stronger as a company. And these are the things I think about when I think about Harley. Why wouldn't you want to expand your market by expanding the choices out there? Not everybody wants to ride a cruiser motorcycle. I enjoy riding mine, but not everybody wants that. There's urban environments where some cruisers just don't make sense and there's some areas where I want to ride like along dirt roads and single track that doesn't make sense for my Iron 883. That's where the Pan America comes in. And that's why I believe this is going to really help Harley over the next five, seven, ten years because they're expanding their market. They're appealing to people like me who would possibly buy a BMW or a KTM. I'm seriously considering now, in 2020, a Harley-Davidson adventure bike. And that excites me, and, and expanding these markets is really smart for Harley. They're moving beyond their heritage. And I know some of the core Harley riders who will be buying the cruisers will say, oh, Harley is backing away from their heritage. That's actually not true. 
in fact, quote from the CEO said that they are gonna be doubling down on their current product. So those of you who love the M8, fear not, they're gonna be doubling down on those. And some also fear that the Sporty may be disappearing. I don't remember which representative from Harley said it, but the quote was, don't necessarily assume that these new models mean the death of Sporty, and I'm paraphrasing there as well. There wasn't a definitive response on that, but hopefully, hopefully the Sporty won't be going away. Because there's just something wonderful about a pushrod air-cooled engine on a new motorcycle. I mean, that sounds absurd, but I ride my my double overhead cam Honda from time to time and I love my pushrod Harley way more than that bike. So I'm excited about the Pan America, see what it's going to be like in a couple of years in 2020 when it comes out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click on that like button. It helps out the channel an awful lot. If you're new here or if you've seen a few of my videos and enjoyed them, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you know when I upload videos just like this one. As always, stay safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you the next one, everybody. Thank you.